is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some interesting news brad we have some very interesting things taking place in the aew action figure realm well i guess just overall the wrestling action figure realm brad so getting into it guys if you guys missed our video from yesterday definitely go check that out if you guys did not know jeremy actually took to twitter if you don't know who jeremy is he is the leader of the aew figures you know kind of just the the face of the aew figures what he says you know he's kind of the front runner there he lets us know on all the all the news all the information information all those different things brad so here we go he tweeted out yesterday on his twitter he or the other day not just yesterday it may have been yeah who cares who who who, who gives a who so he took to twitter and he basically said that at fan fest we will be getting brand new aew figures unveiled to us now he didn't go into a lot of details he didn't necessarily tell us exactly what we're going to be getting where we're going to be getting it you know all the information so it's completely up to us but he also tweeted out you know that uh, it's going to be big you know that it's you know we need to brace ourselves aew figure fans need to brace ourselves because we're going to be getting some good stuff so now in yesterday's video I did kind of cover the figures that I'd like to see or figures that we should see or you know I kind of dove into it a little bit on some figures that we may get to see as well as some figures that you know I want to see that I personally want in my own collection but today ladies and gentlemen I came across an image it's kind of going all over the place here so I definitely wanted to put it up to you guys and let you guys know exactly what is happening here but let's go ahead if you guys missed yesterday's video we did plug in this prototype image of a Miro figure slash Rusev you guys remember Rusev right we had a, a prototype that I plugged in that video and you know it was uh, we were looking at it and you know we analyzed it and it led me to believe that we would be seeing an AEW unmatched figure like I figured that Miro would be a part of unmatched series one you guys know that they're they have the unrival collection and then they're going to reveal the unmatched collection to us to get you know two figures up on the shelves or two different series of figures out on retail shelves such as Walmart and Target so you don't go in there and it's just you know the one line you actually have more retail space you can put out more stuff and all of those things so I mean into it guys pulling it up on the screen you guys will see here that we have the full in package image of the AEW unmatched collection and you guys can see it here it looks pretty official just like some other leaks that we've had in the past of figures in packaging this looks to be legitimate now the only thing different from it is the back card you guys will notice the back card is in a blue color but it is a Miro and I will put it side by side with the prototype that we saw and it looks to me Brad that it is the same exact figure so we knew we were going to get a Miro we just didn't know when we we didn't know exactly how. I did kind of you know, speculate yesterday that I thought it would be in the Unmatched series, that he would be in Unmatched Series 1 or Series 7 of the Unrivaled Collection. Here he is, and he does look like he's going to be in the Unmatched Series number 1 of that series over there. So if you guys will look down in the in the corner of the packaging, you will notice there's like a little S, and it's cut off, and then it says 1. So, I mean, it's pretty much all signs point to Unmatched Collection Series Number One Miro, and now I think that is pretty much confirmed. Now that is awesome. I'm guessing that they're going to put some other guys in this wave. You know, I, I think Britt Baker will be a part of this wave. We'll probably get some other, you know, talent that is underutilized or not quite been put out just yet. I feel like Private Party could even find themselves in here. I think they're even going to use this style of figure, like the Unmatched Series, to put some LJN style figures and some other crazy stuff. So we'll have to see exactly how that goes. But the packaging looks to be virtually similar. Like it. Kind Kind of looks like the top of the packaging may be silver, but it could just be the lighting. And then if you looked at Unmatched down there, it kind of looks a little silver too. But again, it may not be silver. It just kind of looks silver. But let's analyze this figure, man. We got the AEW logo. It looks like it is unrivaled packaging, just slightly different. It looks like Miro is going to be coming with a microphone and mic holding hands as well as like grappling style hands that we've seen on pretty much every AEW figure released to this point. But diving into this figure, man, pretty crazy to see Miro. Like I feel like I'm like in a time warp or something. Like I got in a time machine and I went back because, you know, you'd see guys on WWE television and then they would leave companies and then you'd see them, you know, in TNA or something like that. And, you know, you're used to seeing them on WWE figure shelves and then they would be in TNA packaging, you know, like Jeff and Matt Hardy and stuff like that so that's kind of what it's kind of bringing me back to it's so crazy to see that you know he was with WWE he had Mattel figures and now he's in a completely different company and he's got completely different figures just kind of throws me back a little bit there but getting into this figure man I don't know how I feel about it it doesn't look the best I'll say I feel like uh I love the attire I'm glad they went with this gear because I think this is my favorite gear that he's worn uh you know kind of the camo and the black and the white on the on the trunks I kind of like that look for Miro but I think the head sculpt is a little bit you know I, I understand this yelling face it does have likeness to Rusev slash Miro like I understand that but I don't know you know the yelling expressions he said he had a few WWE Mattel ones as well and uh, I never really cared for the yelling expressions there either I think it's better again it goes back to the expressions pack thing that I mentioned 
But, you know, you, not everybody's going to be just a determined straight face. Not everybody's just going to be smiling. You know, you got to throw some variation in there. So I totally understand it. But this figure is, uh, you know, it, it, I guess it's just not the most appealing looking. But I am happy to have a Miro. I'm glad that we're getting a Miro. And I'm excited to see what comes of it. And maybe we'll get another one in there. You know, get a different head sculpt made. But, you know, for his first figure, not the best ever. But, I don't know. It's just kind of plain Jane. But I'm sure the rest of the set will be pretty cool. But just seeing Miro is really, really awesome. Hopefully down there at the legs, man. If this man doesn't have kick pad rotation, I'm going to have to throw a fit, man. It's going to be a fit thrown. I can just tell you right now. I got to have my kick pad rotation. But uh, I'm sure he'll be really poseable. Hopefully he doesn't have loosey-goosey legs like my Series 5 figures. You know, certain figures in that wave did have that. But the figure's shorts look really good. It does look to be a new torso. I don't think we've seen that torso before. You know, that's not the Luchasaurus torso. That's not the, you know, Jungle Boy torso, obviously, or any of those guys. But uh, th this looks to be a new torso for the bigger guys. And I don't know who all they'll use this for. But this looks to, it looks like Miro, at least. You know, the, the torso and the body style and stuff like that. Hopefully, it's a really good figure when we get it in hand, and it feels good in the hand, and the posability is nice. I wonder if he'll actually have thigh cut or not. Uh, I can't really tell from this juncture if he has thigh cut. I don't know if he'll be, you know, maybe the leg will cut. Or actually, I, I can't even remember. Like, I, I'm not looking at the prototype figure or photo right now, but I think his leg was articulated in that, and I'll bring that up just in case. But I think it was articulated, so hopefully, you know, there will be thigh cut or some sort of cut right below the shorts or something like that, but double jointed knees, double jointed arms, all the beautiful stuff for Miro, but Unmatched Series 1 looks to have a Miro figure, and we will find out, I guess, tomorrow, right? I mean, today's Friday, tomorrow will be Saturday around 11 a.m. Again, turn on your bell, do not miss the upload, because we will cover all the figures that we get, man. Again, I figured we'd get Unmatched Collection Series 1 on full display. I highly, highly... Like, I, I can predict with high probability that we will see the full wave of Unmatched 1, and then we'll probably see, uh, you know, Series 7, possibly, you know, what we're going to be getting. Or maybe they'll just leak Series 7, maybe some exclusives. I'm just really hyped, man. I'm, I'm hyped to see what figures we get, what accessories and head sculpts and all the new things that they're going to be doing. So hopefully they don't disappoint, and we will cover it all here on the channel, and we'll break it all down. And, of course, we will get into all those things, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I think that is going to do it for today's video. It's the only thing I really had to show you guys is the, you know, an un, a, a leaked image of Unmatched Series 1 Miro here. And I hope you guys did enjoy. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Miro figure. Do you think it's eh? Do you like it? Are you excited for it? Let me know all the things down below. And what figures do you want to see tomorrow? Let me know, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And, uh... Don't cross the line like the uh, no pad, no kick pad rotation, as always. You cross the line, I've been